I'm Bridget with PotomacBeads.com. Join me today in creating this reed bracelet. If you do need any of the materials, they were listed at the beginning of the video, as well as below me in the description area, you'll find a full list of materials as well as links to both PotomacBeads.com and .eu. So gather up your materials and come create with me. So to start our reed bracelet, I already have my wire guard attached here, as well as my first melon and three 11 seed beads. So I am working with two needles here. So with both needles, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my first Wibe Duo. And then an 11 on both needles. And from there, on both sides, I'm gonna pick up an 11, I'm just gonna start with one side first. So I'm gonna pick up my Eva, and then an 11, and a melon, and 11. And I'm gonna go through that second hole in my Eva. And now I'll do that with my opposite needle. So again, picking up my Eva. And then an 11, melon and 11. and going down that second hole in my Eva. So you can kind of start seeing our design take shape here. So now picking up another 11, I'm gonna go through my second Wibe Duo. And I wanna make sure to do that with both of my needles. So picking up an 11 and through my Wibe Duo. And then you can see it falls nicely down there next to the Evas. So this is gonna be the design that we're gonna be um, kind of duplicating. So again, from here, using our first needle, we're gonna pick up an 11, pick up our first Eva, and go through an 11, melon 11, and then back down through that second hole in our Evas. And so we'll do that on the opposite needle as well. So picking up an 11 and then going through your Eva and then 11, melon, 11, and going back down through that second hole. Kind of pulling that tight so that they fall nicely together there. And then finishing off with another Wibe Duo. So picking up an 11 and going through the Wibe Duo. Again, with both needles. And pulling that down till it reaches our Evas. So we're just gonna keep with this design until we get our desired length. So now that I have my desired length, so you can see from the start to where we are now, I have three 11 O's on both of my needles and I'm gonna go through one melon bead. So going through with both of my needles, and pulling those together 
down at our end. And then I'm gonna grab my wire guard and my clasp. So I'm gonna go through my wire guard just with one of my needles. And then making sure to put my clasp through as well. And kind of pull that down. And do the same with my second needle going the opposite direction. So going up through my wire guard. Around and to the opposite side. And again, making sure to get through my clasp with both needles. And once you're down on the opposite side with your second needle, you can go ahead and pull that tight and if the needle gets stuck a little bit in the wire guard, just use some pliers to pull that through. So now just kind of pulling tight with both sides. And then just knotting that off. Actually, I'm gonna go through, down through my melon one more time with both my needles. And then I'll tie, tie the knot on the opposite side of the melon. All right, so then just make sure you're nice and tight and go ahead and tie off your ends. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed creating the reed bracelet with me. If you remember, if you do need any of the materials, they were listed at the beginning as well as below me. You'll find a full list of links to both potomacbeads.com and potomacbeads.eu. Remember to like and subscribe if you wanna keep up to date with any of the latest tutorials or new products that we have out for you. And as always, we love to hear from you. So I'd love to see how this design helped inspire your own.